So here's a trivia question for you. Who was president when the first Catholic college opened in the Diocese of Springfield? Think back to 1928. It was Herbert Hoover. He had just been elected when Our Lady of the Elms College in Chicopee celebrated its first classes for women. And 91 years later, the diocese officially welcomed its second Catholic school of higher education when Thomas Aquinas College, New England held its convocation here in Northfield. Steve Kiltonic has been covering the Aquinas Beat for the last three years now and reports on the big opening day. On the morning of August 24th, Thomas Aquinas College, New England held its inaugural convocation exercises with a Mass of the Holy Spirit at the renamed Our Mother of Perpetual Help Chapel. Springfield Bishop Mitchell Rosansky consolidated the Mass with Father Greg Markey, the college chaplain, along with priests and deacons from the diocese. Students, faculty, governors, administration, alumni, and family members gathered to witness history as Thomas Aquinas College, New England became only the second Catholic institution of higher education to open in the diocese and the first in nearly a century. In his homily, Bishop Rosansky referenced Dwight Moody, who in 1879 founded the Northfield Seminary for Young Ladies, hoping to instill a Christian education in young women whose families couldn't afford a private education. From humble beginnings, Moody became a world-renowned evangelist. Today, Thomas Aquinas College opens a new chapter to this Northfield property, bringing our Catholic faith to this place in a truly unique and faith-filled way. This campus will serve as a place to enlighten the minds and hearts of young Catholics so that they too, from here, may go out to witness to the power of Jesus at work through them. During the Mass, Bishop Rosansky blessed the century-old chapel building, which won't be formally dedicated until the installation of confessionals and a permanent altar is completed. Providing the music was the Thomas Aquinas College Choir, directed by alumni Stephen Grimm and his wife Laura. After the Mass at the campus flagpole, Bishop Rosansky blessed the American and Thomas Aquinas College New England flags, which were raised over the Northfield campus by the local veterans of foreign wars. Here, Thomas Aquinas College President Michael McLean was presented with a 400-year-old edition of St. Thomas Aquinas' Summa Theologiae by Don Glaskoff, a friend of the college. So it's with great, great pleasure and with a degree of delicacy, which I hope you will treat it with, I give uh, Thomas Aquinas to Thomas Aquinas. After the singing of the Star Spangled Banner and Pledge of Allegiance, the group of nearly 400 made its way up to Moody Auditorium for the matriculation ceremony. The invocation was given by Father Markey, while Thomas Kaiser, the Associate Dean, introduced the faculty and governors. Bishop Rosansky then administered the profession of faith and oath of fidelity to the eight founding faculty members. John Daly, the Director of Admissions, called each student from the 2022 and 2023 classes up to the stage to greet President McLean and Bishop Rosansky. Each signed their names in the college registry, officially beginning their tenure as Thomas Aquinas College New England students. In his matriculation address, President McLean expressed gratitude for the leadership of the faculty, staff, and students, and for the Council of the Board of Governors. I ask all of you here today to offer thanks to God in your prayers for this opportunity and to pray that it is His will that we are today opening on this campus a college which will be a beacon in higher education in New England. In his remarks, Bishop Rosansky challenged the students. I thank God for your presence. I rejoice that you are here, and I challenge you. Bring hope and bring the light of the gospel to an area of the country that truly needs your witness. Bishop Rosansky gave the benediction before Immaculate Mary led the procession out. After the convocation, all were invited to lunch on the campus grounds next to the chapel. 
The student body here in Northfield consists of 58 sophomores and freshmen. That number is expected to rise to about 400 over the course of the next five to 10 years. The students I spoke to were very excited about being part of a pioneering venture. The students are a diverse group, hailing from some 20 states and five countries, including Brazil, Canada, Puerto Rico, and Ireland. Freshman Nim McCann from Shirley, Mass, has a sister who attends the Santa Paula School. Something about the, this beautiful New England campus really just felt more like home to me growing up here, um, as well as just the opportunity to be in a pioneering class was incredible and it seems like too good to pass up. Fellow freshman Paul Dinan from Ave Maria, Florida agreed. I was absolutely stunned by the beauty. I, I've always liked the New England uh, red brick colonial feeling and so uh, it really makes me feel like a pioneer to uh, be here with in this, this campus. And um, yeah, I, I, like Neve like was saying, she, I, I, I'm so happy to be around people that are also really concerned about their faith and on fire to spread you know, Jesus Christ to others. And. Sophomores Clara Ramos Gigliotti from Puerto Rico and Nathaniel Cassidy from the United Kingdom both transferred from California. It's really amazing to see how much people believe in this education, that they're, they're, you know, they're willing to give us this amazing campus to be able to learn and continue our education here. Um, I think it's a blessing, a big blessing. The sense of adventure and the sense of pioneering that kind of draws me to this place. And we have something that we can established here that not many places around here offer. So. Cassidy hopes to take advantage of what the surrounding area has to offer recreationally. From what I've heard, it's a wonderful area. We have the river just down the road. The college provided us with some kayaks and things, so hopefully there'll be kayak trips down the river and then in the winter, skiing. Bishop Rosansky has been a staunch supporter of the school from the beginning. This is the first Catholic college in the diocese since Elms College was founded in 1928. We have another Catholic presence uh, in the Diocese of Springfield and a college that is very rich in the Catholic tradition, rich in the intellectual tradition. So this is really a powerhouse of Catholicism uh, on the northern part of the Springfield Diocese. Mm -hmm. President McLean and Bishop Rosansky met four years ago when McLean laid out the plans Thomas Aquinas had for the property. It's um, important for a Catholic institution to be in close, close alliance with the, with the teaching authority of the church. And uh, I respect him a lot and I'm grateful that uh, we have that kind of relationship. In 2018, the college received approval from the Massachusetts Board of Higher Education to operate its second campus in Northfield. Now that we've gotten to this point with uh, an actual group of students, a strong faculty, and the campus in shape to really uh, begin an academic year, I feel very grateful to everyone that's contributed to this process, and I feel uh, very uh, optimistic that it's going to be successful. McLean said that while the underlying philosophy of the two campuses will be identical, he welcomes customs that will be specific to Northfield. The faculty families that have moved here are really loving it. Mm -hmm. They're loving the rural character of Northfield. They're loving the fact that their kids can ride their bikes around this campus. The college is ready for the students and faculty who will live in housing nearby. The dorms are complete, one each for the girls and boys. The gymnasium received a complete four makeover with a new TAC crest. Biology classrooms and labs are all set. The cafeteria was revamped and the kitchen is well stocked with new pots and pans. The tables where the tutors and students discuss the great books are in place. After freshman orientations last Monday, Classes started Tuesday, August 27th. At the convocation, President McLean officially opened the 2019 academic year, saying a new chapter has begun in the annals of Thomas Aquinas College. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors, declare the college to be in session in the year of our Lord, 2019. The 49th year of Thomas Aquinas College and the first year of Thomas Aquinas College, New England. For Real to Real, I'm Steve Kiltonic.
We certainly wish all the faculty and students the best of luck here in their new Western Massachusetts home.